Hello everybody. Welcome to my wood shop. This is a chunk of birch. I've had this on the shelf for quite some time. You can tell it had a wax coating on it. I took the wax off the side grains and left it on the end grain and let it dry out for quite some time. It's leveled off to right around 10% moisture content. So it's time to get this baby on the lathe. I want to take this time also to let you know that uh, I got interviewed by the YouTube channel Awesome Cars Forever regarding my truck. So if you want to see that interview, check out the link in the card in the upper right hand corner. Should be appearing right about now. Great channel. I hope at least a thousand of you have subscribed to them. I'd appreciate it. So I've got it mostly round. Drilled that hole in the center and what I'm doing right now is installing a woodworm screw and that's how I'm going to mount it to my chuck. Tighten the chuck up around the woodworm screw and then tighten the bull blank up to the chuck nice and firm. Right about there. And as normal I'm going to make this round first just to get it nice and balanced and then I'll work on the base of the bowl, establish the foot, and then establish the shape of the outside. Get it all nice and sanded and finished before I flip it around and work on the inside. So here we go. I wasn't exactly sure what the shape of the outside was going to look like. I guess I never really am. But I do like a little bit of shape in there, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of curve. So I started with that. And I thought a nice lip around the rim there would look good. And this is just an example of the different uh, size shavings I was getting off, just depending on the pressure and angle of the tool. I started sanding at 120 grit, worked up to 220, and then I hit it with some denatured alcohol, which you see me doing here. And that was to raise the grain. And then I sand it again at 220, all the way up to 1000 grit. Got it glass smooth before I applied the finish. And because there's some spalting in this bowl, 
and I do want to make it food safe, I applied some really thin shellac to seal it. Just rubbed it in with that shop towel. Ooh. And to my surprise, a bit of flash. Toints and birch, who knew? Nice. I followed that shellac up with some Axe abrasive paste and polish. Nice and food safe. I've got a few stickers to show you, and then I'm going to announce the winner of the pen that I made last week. Got this really nice sticker from Roger Bain, the Angry Woodturner. Check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Leonard Manderville sent me this sticker. Lens Pens. Thank you, sir. And Jeff sent me this one. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate it. Chisel Smith. And without further ado, this is the YouTube Comment Picker website. Just upload the URL from last week's video, the Skull Pen. Filter out all the duplicate uh, commenters. There's 412 to pick from. 412 comments. That's amazing. And the winner is... Drum roll. Scott Marsh. Congratulations, Scott. That skull pen is yours. I hope you like it. As soon as you can, drop me an email. Check the video description for my address, Scott. And I want to thank everybody. 412 comments to pick from. That's amazing. I really appreciate your support and kindness. Amazing. Okay, let's get this bowl finished. Earlier in the video, I told you how I finished the outside of the bowl. Well, I finished the inside exactly the same way.
Well, if you've never turned birch before, I recommend it. I enjoyed this very much. The colors, the spalting, the flash. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Let me know what you think. Good or bad, I can take it. Food for thought. Look it up. It's important. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that too. It helps my channel grow. God bless and Semper Fi.